Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. What does man gain by all the toil at which he toils under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun goes down and hastens to a place where it rises. The wind blows and to the south and goes around to the north, and around and around goes the wind, and all the circuits the wind returns. Yeah, so that's just a bit of introduction into the book of Ecclesiastes, in a book written by the wise King Solomon. <laughs> and today, I needed to, you know, just read out the scripture before I actually go on to say what I wanted to say, because I want to discuss a couple of van- vain things that I'm grateful to God for. Remember, <laughs> it's still vain, but I mean, at the end of the day, we're grateful to God for them. Yeah, so, you know, like, you know, vanity is um, centered around the fact that we all talk for certain things. We all want certain things. But at the end of the day, like, if it's not anchored on God, then we might as well ne- never get fulfillment. In fact, nothing vain brings any level of fulfillment so yes in as much as i'm grateful for all of this because it's still vanity there isn't any lasting fulfillment from any of them so i want to delve into the things the vain things i'm grateful to god for and please if this is your first time on on this channel my name is adora please don't make it your last don't forget to like subscribe comment and share with your friends all right <laughs> this might sound funny but like okay the first thing um the first vain thing that i'm grateful to god for is um, um <laughs> where do i start really okay in no particular order though the very obvious one like just having long healthy luscious hair like i remember severally you know there are times i wake up in the morning and this is mostly like something the first thing i i do every morning i have mirrors all over where my space you know so probably i go into the bathroom to just take you know like a brush my teeth or is myself and then i just catch a reflection of myself in the mirror and i just want to put it out there i'm really not that vain i really i'm not that person that focuses on material things or physical things a lot you know but then sometimes you know you might just have this banter in your head and i just catch a reflection of my hair in the mirror and i'm just like oh god thank you for giving me such beautiful hair so you know i don't i don't just leave it at or oh, have beautiful hair like it, it points my heart and you know my attention back to god because i know that everything i have received obviously came from him so i don't know what yours is but this is the first one on my list yeah and then the second one is um (laughs) i don't know why i'm laughing but you know because like i said it sounds really weird but yeah an even skin tone it's a thing though like an even skin tone from my head to my toes almost like you know just knowing that just looking at it and like seeing that Almost every part of my body has the same shade of color. Like, I don't know. It seems flimsy, but then I just like, oh my God, I'm grateful for not having dark knuckles, dark armpits. You know, those weird places that just get darker than the other. And I'm like, oh God, thank you. I'm grateful for an even skin tone. Like I said, 
it just redirects me back to gratitude to god it's really not to you know show it off or leave and revel in it now nah. i don't stay lost in a very no not at all but i just think i'm i just thank god and i'm so grateful for those things the third thing i'm grateful to god for every morning like that constitutes um my gratitude to god is you know having a somewhat relatively um, flat belly even after having kids so that was one thing i really worried about you know having a um, cesarean section but thankfully to god it's been under control and it might be vain but i'm happy i don't so the fourth thing i'm grateful to god for is not having bad breath like i don't know if you like bad breath is quite uncomfortable and just knowing that you know i don't have to deal with that is such a point for me to be grateful to god for the fifth thing i'm grateful to god for is having a relatively um clear white eyes <laughs> You know, growing up, it used to be like a conversation starter. You know, people be like, your eyes are so white. And, you know, it's amazing. And I'm grateful to God for that. Another thing I'm grateful to God for is having naturally long lashes. I used to cut my lashes when I was growing up. I didn't even know it was a thing until I got into the university and people were fixing artificial lashes and people be like this is your natural lashes and like oh, this is what we pay for so these are things i'm like oh my god i'm grateful to god that i just sometimes mascara and then i have all that beautiful lashes to play around with at this point i'm sure a lot of you will be like you're really so vain but yeah let me add another one so i'm also grateful to god for the ability to comprehend quickly like like i understand concepts quite easily and i'm quite creative and it's vain at the end of the day because like i said all is vanity you know but i'm grateful to god for that regardless yeah so those are a few of my vain like the things that that are vain but i'm grateful to god for i hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about them i don't know what yours are do you mind letting me know in the comment section what vain things that you're grateful to god for you know even if it doesn't make sense to anywhere any anyone else like it makes sense to you yeah i'd love to hear your thoughts and please do not forget to subscribe like share with your friends this is the end of the video the video is quite short so i'll see you guys in my next video until then stay beautiful stay cute and stay lovely love you guys bye